G'day and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to tell you what I've been up to. So this is kind of like a little sub update, kind of like a, a little sub episode. Um, as you may or may not be aware, I had spinal surgery a couple of weeks ago and man it has dead set knocked me for a six. I'm in my workshop at the moment. I've got me uggies on, I've got me trusty walking stick and um, I'll tell you what, I have been absolutely struggling and anyway, it's uh, not been the easiest thing I've been through. Just dead set, I've got a lot of nerve pain and I'm, and I'm whacked on morphine. I need morphine at the moment just to keep me going, I'm struggling. But anyway, I just want to show you what I'm up to and um, even though I can't do a lot, the old um, model A hasn't changed, it's still sitting there. I haven't done anything, obviously. Um, which is really, really frustrating. But let me show you what I've been able to get done with the help of some mates. So the old steering wheel, on N30 steering wheel I had, which was all cracked. I knocked some of that Bakelite off it and I found the center was a riveted in center, which, hang on, oh, I just dropped my walking stick, hang on. So it's got this two piece center that's um, riveted in to this pressed steel dodgy thing that they had and it was strengthened by the Bakelite plastic whatever they wrapped over the top of it my mate across the road I got him to grind out and push out the rivets out of that centre so I could save this hub and I've always had a fascination I've always had a fascination with the um, Model T steering wheels the ones that curve backwards um, they don't fit the Model A's as far as I'm aware because the Model A's got a tapered um, um, thingy. I'll get it in a minute. Tapered shaft. Um, some of them had a like a big spline, but mine's a tapered with the keyway. Two different types. And the Model T isn't tapered. It's straight with a keyway. I've got a mate that does um, laser cutting for work, and I said to him, "Hey man, you reckon you'd be able to? If I draw your picture, could you knock me up a?" Um, Apart for me, he goes, yeah, for sure. So anyway, he just dropped it off, and that's why I'm down here doing this, because I'm so excited, because nothing is happening, and I've finally got something that I can play with. Check it out. So that's my spider, made out of five mil mild steel, um, to make my Model T style steering wheel for my traditional build. So this, I measured the, obviously measured the diameter before I gave it to him, fits perfectly in there. Rivets or bolts, whatever through there. I'd love to do brass, I don't know if it's strong enough, but um, it'll probably be like flathead bolts. Quite good, quite tensile bolts. Um, to hold that in place, I don't know, I just thought it'd be really cool to have the bit that you control your car with something that you've made yourself. So, steering wheel. So as much as I've had this laser cut by my mate's work, um, what I want to do when I'm feeling a little bit better, um, wish that it'd hurry up, is be able to go down to my forge and blacksmith some shape into these. So round them off like they were, they'll round it off, but also get that that um, shape down there. And then make up a wooden or a timber hoop, um, which I've got a cunning plan how I can do that quite easily, and then mount it like they would have done, or like they did up through the back. But anyhow, so the other thing that I was mucking around with as well, which I've been able to do, is that old dash. I, um, it was way, way too pitted to, I mean, I could bog it up and I could spend all that time, but they're only like $45 to buy, like a nice fancy chrome one, but I like old school and I like saving stuff, so what I did, I just wire brushed the crap out of that on the wire brush wheel here, and cleaned it up, put some clear on it, and then what I want to do, not in that hole, because that hole's for your amp gauge, but I've got this old, um, motorcycle style, like a British motorcycle style headlight switch, which I'm going to put on this side where the ignition switch would have been, but use that as ignition. So, have that there as my fancy cool ignition switch. I've got to, I've got to try and work it out when I get that hole in it. But yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing. I've spent most of my time having involuntary sleeps on the couch or watching YouTube and getting inspired and then waking up at four o'clock in the morning with the TV blaring. Um, but yeah, it's been a 
funny old ride. Oh yeah, and I'm um, for my Aussie viewers, I am selling the cowl and doors off the mongrel. So the 1930 cowl, the closed cowl and the coupe doors. I'm selling those. If you're interested, shoot me a um, direct message on my Instagram account, which is the same name as my YouTube account, and um, we can have a chat about that. So that's it from me. A quick little update. Um, I'll keep you posted with what's going on. Um, once I get into this drum wall, we'll do a full video on that. And I need to go back inside and sit down. So stay tuned. To be good to your mates. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I will see you on the next one. Cheers. See ya. Good adventure. Oh.